and Forsyth County Sheriff Bill Schatzman joins me this morning. He worked for the FBI for 24 years and has a lot of experience with terrorism. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Brianna. I want to ask you first off this morning, initial reports were very doubtful that this was an ISIS attack, noting how sophisticated and coordinated it was. Now that we know ISIS is claiming responsibility, have we underestimated this group, perhaps? You know, I don't think we have, but certainly this Paris incident, this horrific, terrible incident, reminds us that jihad, the holy war uh, by radical Muslims, is worldwide. It is not just in the Middle East. Certainly, we've been on that posture here in the United States, but the world must understand that uh, it's a worldwide uh, effort on the part of these radical Muslims. And now that we're aware of this new news that a passport from Syria was found on the bodies of one of the attackers, how do you think this might ripple through and affect borders around the world, especially knowing that there is a Syrian refugee crisis happening right now? Yes, correct. The, the, uh, the movement of refugees throughout the world and even into this country presents a problem for uh, law enforcement and for our military and for the safety and security of this country and all countries on the globe. It is difficult to vet. Uh, to screen and understand who these people are when they come into the country in large numbers. So that's something that's definitely going to be <clears throat> getting a lot of attention in these coming weeks. Also, a lot of people questioning why France? This is the second attack there in just the past 12 months. Should we also be concerned about what may be happening here? Well, certainly we should be uh, vigilant here uh, and all countries should be vigilant <clears throat> on jihad, on the holy war. Um, we say here in, in uh, the United States, if you see something, say something. We have intelligence gathering uh, agencies, the FBI, uh, of which I was part of for 24 years. The state, North Carolina has the State Bureau of Investigation. We have a stand-up uh, information sharing and analysis center that's run out of Raleigh and here in North Carolina. It's housed and, and staffed by FBI and um, uh, state agents. And so they, um, they gather information about what's going on in the state. See something, say something. Vigilance, actionable intelligence to penetrate, uh, disrupt, and destroy any type of activity that uh, might uh, harm uh, the citizens of the country. Got you. And quickly, just one more question. What sure. do you foresee in terms of a response from the U.S. if that's something France is open to? Well, certainly. Um, uh, the free world will come together, the world will come together uh, to help any nation that, is, that has been harmed. Certainly our, our government and our forces, our military, our civilian police, I know the FBI, um, I, I would suspect, uh, has already sent people to Paris to uh, help uh, in any type of aftermath, forensics, intelligence gathering, whatever. We have people, the FBI has people stationed in every country on the globe. So there will be a, a coming together of more than perhaps before uh, to ensure that everything is known about what happened and to prevent something like this from happening again. All right. Thank you so much for that insight. We appreciate you being here. Thank you, Brianna.